Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And you've got a different view today, different lighting and noise in the background. But we are on a mini mission. So this is currently my craft room. I have done tours on my craft room before in a bit more detail. Things may have changed slightly, may not. But this is basically my filming space up on the back. It's also the packing order space. It also is holding a lot of diamond paintings, etc. And me and Megan had thoughts today, which is always dangerous, especially when we live close to an Ikea. So this is where a lot of stock is housed. We may have just had a sneaky sneak peek at something that has been printed early on. Anyway, um, that was a, a, a that may be coming in the future. Um, so yeah, we have been organising for the shop launch, which is this Friday and sorting out the video to announce the products etc and yeah I've I've had my brain ticking in relation to space and being able to fit more in this room. Megan then came up with the idea of relocating slash moving the pegboard on this wall and going for a full height bookcase. Needless to say we have just come back from Ikea and we are about to give this room a mini overhaul. At the minute, it has a mixture of stock and diamond painting on this side. It has stock on this side. It has diamond paintings and stock underneath there. There is a load of stock also stored in the conservatory, but I try to keep a certain amount of stock in here so that I can pack orders easily, um, and then I refill this order room with the stock. So join us today. I am going to be filming little snippets of our journey along um, trying to get even more storage into this tiny space. So speak to you in a moment. Starting to look a little bit messier in places. There is now stuff piled on the desk. Uh, it is looking a little bit clearer on this wall, ready for a taller bookcase. And if I scoot across here, the conservatory wall, sneak peek at the kitchen, which I'm not sure whether kitchen reveal is coming before or after this video, but there is part of a billy bookcase in the kitchen and a dog barking in the garden. So we are getting there today. By the way, there is no TV there at the moment. Um, unfortunately, it got damaged. It is currently um, getting repaired or replaced by the insurance. But hey, at least I won't damage it while doing this. So yeah, we are getting somewhere. I have also cleared a lot of the stuff off the top of here and a lot of diamond paintings from here. But I wanna keep giving you many updates on how this transforms. Hopefully, some of the next will be a shift of furniture. We are moving these, or at least one of these bookcases, and we need to write in that bookcase. That's actually a bookcase on its end. And we have diamond paintings and filament and all sorts of stuff to still move, but we're getting there. So another mini update desk at the back is looking pretty much the same. What I have taken out now is anything tucked. Now this can be a problem. I'm very good at finding little gaps for things. So the gap the side of this bookcase, the gap here, that did have stuff. Uh, there was stuff here next to this bookcase on its end. Of course, you saw that I'd taken the stuff off the top of there, which most of it's on there. Uh, there was also more diamond paintings tucked down here. So all the loose bits that were tucked are now there. 
There is a couch underneath all of that. There is a lot of diamond paintings, I will agree. And some of the diamond paintings have already been moved to go into Megan's room. I, I, I feel like this is going to explode a little bit more. Um, Luna is enjoying sniffing everything because everything's moving. So because it's moving, it all sniffs different. Smells different, should I say. And there you go. She's, I'm not chasing the camera around. She'll have me going around the whole conservatory. So mini update so far. We have a clear wall ready to take the bigger, taller bookcase. I have cleared all the stuff from around. Now we need to do some heavy lifting and some switching ready to build the bigger bookcase. So stay tuned. Um, Luna's offered to build the bookcase for us. So while we move about the other furniture, um, I'm just going to leave her here and hope that it is all together by the time I come back. What do you think the chances are? We are now ready for the building phase. So when we come in now on the left, we have two Billy bookcases. This one was originally on its side uh, so that we could fit our paper towers for stickers on the top. So this one's now upright. We do have the shelves, but we're gonna mess with them later. This one had all my photo boxes and diamond paint in storage. I have emptied this and this has been moved over. And then I've just scooted this one over from this far corner. It's been scooted over ready for the additional piece of furniture that you'd never think you'd fit in this tiny room to go around there. And once that's in, then we have to try and fit all of this back in and to scoop Megan who's in the doorway watching the dog all of that on the table as well hopefully it will all fit back in time will tell this is going to be the big thing um, but that should fit on top of these units let's find out so it took a little bit of a half making a bookcase on this floor but we now have another Billy bookcase in here. But this one, if I come round the other way, it's a very small craft room, so I can't get the angles I want to. I'm tucking myself right in the corner. Um, so now we have a bookcase here, which still currently has its original stuff on it, but we are gonna rearrange. And then we have a doubly tall, thinking diamond paintings are gonna live up there. We shall see, um, yeah, double tall Billy bookcase over here, which is practically doubling our storage. Still have all the mess out there. It's getting darker, but it's not that dark yet. And then we have these two over here, as I said before. What we need to work on now is getting our paper towers with all the stickers and the trays on here and see how high that goes. I have had to take a couple of pictures down and confirm that that's all workable and then it gets to the fun part of filling all the shelves. The only part that's not fun is rearranging all all the Billy bookcase little little rivet things. That's the only part that's not fun um, is rearranging those but the rest of it I thoroughly enjoy. So stay tuned and hopefully we will have well, we'll do the paper racks first and give you an update and then we'll see if we can get some items on these shelves. It's getting darker here with flagging, but we have now got the sticker shelves on here. Um, we have taken five off the top. While we could still reach the top, it didn't work perfectly. Um, so we currently have them stacked in here just until we decide we may still use them within the billy. We may not. It depends. Um, the trays are going to move to the bottom of here. Um, and then we have the sets of stickers. So the, the single sheets, the DMC, etc. That all need relabeling. 
um, things that also used to be on that shelf like logbooks or a selection of logbooks, bookmarks, we may put them into tubs. So we've got that there and then we have some of my little packing station goodies here uh, with a bin hanging off and that's as far as we've got. So let's see how much further we can get but I can't pack any orders yet. So I have a deadline, uh, started this on a Friday night. So we have a weekend deadline. In fact, we have less than that. I have a whipping chat that I need to film for Sunday. So I better get a wriggle on. So we do seem to have sorted out shop stuff mainly first. I've even spent time putting the trays pretty on the shelf. Um, but we do, have, we do need to create labels and stuff, but we can't quite pause for that. Um, we have most, some of pretty much every stock item here. Luna, you know you're not allowed in the craft room. Yeah. Boot. Um, <coughs> luckily, she's not a shedding dog. But we have most items not fully stocked up, but at least a rough place of where shop items are going to go. We have arranged for some more storage for here. Um, and we're going to live with this other, these other tubs for a little bit to see what will work the best. But the idea was we can pack an order from here. It may not necessarily have full stock items. Um, definitely doesn't at the moment. But the idea is we can pack an order from here and then we can refill from our storage outside or these shelves over here. You may notice I do have two completed diamond paintings that are boxed behind here because they help to keep these little drawers out just to the right distance. <laughs> so they're staying there. Over here, we got nada yet. We've just been using it to hold stuff. So stay tuned. The next phase I think is primarily to try and sort out the diamond painting items that I go to and grab for videos and get some of those in the prime place and then we do have stock stock overflow or things like blank stickers and things to find homes for and of course my diamond paintings and all sorts of other things so stay tuned it will hopefully look better whether that be tonight or tomorrow, we shall see. Welcome back. So it's a couple of days later, but for now, the craft room is primarily done. Um, I do apologize for the noise again, but you know, these 3D printers have got to print. They've got to get their work done. So to the right, um, I don't have as many tucking spaces in this craft room, um, but we do have a mixture of stock and my diamond painting goodies. Look, <laughs> look at all my diamond paintings on the top. Um, so I have all the diamond art studio, of which I have quite a few and some KT, uh, not, no, Carrot Art, sorry. A couple of their diamond paintings up there because they have the display on the end of the box. Then I have a Dreamers Designs and then I have the three Diamond Art Club so far so that I can see them. Um, I have my lovely Paint Gem books all lined up um, next to the trays of which I need to get another tub. Um, we just have some filament and things stored at the top. I've got my pen holders. I've then got my storage boxes of which Zesty Wolf is currently sat on there until he can find a new home. I've got my Heaven and Earth design and space for my heaven and earth design cases to go. I then have storage and then underneath I have stickers and more filament. Over here, uh, I've got a couple of things that I need to do and then we have stickers for printing and a bit more storage and then I have 
boxes as well. Luna has escaped in here. She's not allowed in here, but because I'm filming, she's seen the opportunity. Sorry, I just had to vacate the dog. Uh, I have over here a lot of diamond painting goodies. A couple of these tubs here are used for storing future trays. She's back in again, I tell you. Uh, she is pushing buttons because she knows she's not allowed in here. Um, then I have some more diamond paintings that I need to unbox slash put in my logbook. I have no idea where they're going when I've done the unboxings slash putting them in my logbook because they're not going to fit up the top there. I then have my cross stitch propped up and then we come to the shop side of things. So let me see if I can get in a corner. So we have um, all the sticker racks which are looking a little bit empty at the moment. If you saw my latest sort of shop launch video we have had to change printers. It has changed some of the colours ever so slightly. Um, so I've got the last of the sale stickers here, but I yet need to sort of fully restock these. I'm restocking them as to orders at the moment because I've got so much other stuff to do. Um, we then have these gorgeous, absolutely love these, um, storage boxes. Uh, they hold things like the tips and things like that. We've got them for stoppers, all that sort of stuff. We do need to label up the new ones. Um, they are going to take some things that are coming soon. I then, this is the bit that I'm not yet sure whether it's final, final, uh, but I have passport holder, oh sorry, cover paper holders in a couple of these and cover paper. I definitely need prettier boxes, I just need to work out if the boxes work before I get prettier boxes. Um, we then have glue dots, tape and bags, so we have a nice decent amount of each of those stored out here with the rest outside. Uh, we then have cardstock on the bottom, um, which I currently have a child packing more, so hopefully that will fill up and I can find a new home for bubble wrap. Uh, we then have things like our pouches, uh, logbooks, which currently need printing. That's one of my to-dos for this week. And then we have our pens. I love this for pens. It's, it's amazing to pick and pack pens from here. I don't know what it is. It's just a storage that works. So that is mainly the shop side. And the other side is mainly my diamond painting side with um, stock items of things like stickers and filament and things like that that need a home. Um, then I have two pegboards. So what I've done, if I can zoom back enough, is I've gone for two big boards, two small ones, rather than the big one that I had. So this is primarily packing. So I have baggies, envelopes, a small stock of each of those here, scissors, um, leaflets, tape, pens, just put all the pens there. Uh, I then have my Xyron sticker maker and my Goo Gone. For now, that is all that is on that side. Then I've got my filming, because of course I need to be able to grab those things. And then the other side, I didn't know that they did these little bars. These are new for the pegboards. Um, but these now hold all my ABs. ABs, glow in the dark, my rhinestone ones. So I've got ABs. Simon Art Studio, just a nice rook. Uh, I then, on the next one up, I have tape, glue dots, um, my binder clips. I have a little basket to put my camera batteries in and my little 3D printed holder for my memory cards. Then uh, this has tweezers and other bits. These are all craft knives. How on earth I got so many, I have no idea. Uh, then I have things like friction pens and some of my scrapbooking 
goodies, my pencil case, and my ruler. The diamond paintings, round and square, have stayed in the same place. Uh, so have my special diamond paintings, which are tucked up in the back. And then, of course, I film here. And then I have a few things ready for packing orders today. Luna has now decided to fall asleep on the rug, which is the only reason she's still in here. Um, but yeah, that is the craft room updated. Sorry, it is a very, very small space, but we have managed to fit in more. I have managed, the main aim was to be able to fit more stock items here, so I wasn't refilling as often, and I have been able to do that, which is amazing. Um, and hopefully, over time, I will just do those little tweaks to make everything else work well. But I thought that was a little bit of a a different tour for you so um yeah let me know what you think can i cram any more storage into this small craft room what are my chances uh but thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon